Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For this YouTube and Facebook live stream, may even go on Twitter, but I want to show y'all something about what is so very unique about the Kenwood TMV71A and the Wilkeson UV8D Plus, along with this radio right here. The Belfang UV-5R. And yes, I have an extended antenna that's Yi Yang's long. I'm going to show y'all something that y'all probably don't even realize. Those of you that are amateur radio operators, this is information is especially for you. So I want you to watch what I do as I do this. Yes, I'm holding my device manually. Power button. I've already in crossband mode. I'm going to take it out. Disarm crossband mode. Okay. Face it where you can, you can see the frequencies. Easy. Okay. All right. Y'all see the frequencies. One, four, seven, five hundred, with four, four, six, five hundred. All right. This is what I want to show you. There's a CT tone here and a CT tone here of 192.8. I've got this up on high, which I really don't even need. So I could come down right here. I'm gonna show you how to do crossband repeat, being that the 440 machine is the, the 440 side is the output of the repeater. And two meters is the input. Now you can do multiple wattage. Now this is in my truck here, so I really don't wanna use too much wattage if I get several people going and talking. It's, whoa. A big old lightning burst. I'm glad I'm not transmitting right now because that was lightning. Okay. I'm doing this with a storm in the area. Ain't I goofy? So anyway, I'm going to show y'all how to do this. It's very simple. Here's this. All right, and you see I got 80 over here while it's over there doing that. Um, menu. All right, this RPT hold, that actually gives you a, about a second, second and a half of a tail when you unkey. And I'll show you what I mean by that. All right, okay, here is cross. This is where you set the actual crossband. Okay. B means that this side here will transmit. A is this side right here. So you want B to transmit and A to receive only in this particular mode. When using this whole radio as one whole full duplex repeater. Mm. Okay, here's my call sign. I am a licensed radio operator, the BX4 PCS. This is the repeater ID. This goes off every 10 minutes, and you cannot um, change the volume on the CW ID. I wish you could, but you can't. That's the uh, pros and cons of this particular model. Okay, but here, this is the ID TX. You can do voice or uh, Morris or off. By voice, you have to have the voice chip installed into your radio. This radio does not have the voice chip. So your only option is Morris or off. Jeez, that lightning. I may be going in before I finish this. Okay, now that is that right there. That's Morris. I'm going to turn that back off because it's not necessary at the moment. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn the radio off. Turn it back on. All right, you see PTT is blinking. That means this is ready to start transmitting. This here is the control. This over here is the receiver. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. 
turn uh, by the way this has dual volume control on this particular radio which i absolutely love okay so what i'm gonna do so i'm gonna take my wuxon uv8d i can do it with either radio so you can see what i'm doing here no there's no secret as to what i'm doing I had to turn the light on so you could kind of see what I am doing. So I got the lock on, yeah. Well, let me, let me show y'all just how to do this. You see that squelch tail that just popped up? All right, watch the left side very closely. WX4 PCS, Whiskey X-Ray 4, Papa Charlie Sierra, testing crossband, full duplex, repeat mode. WX4 PCS. Okay. Did you see how the full 40 dropped after this one dropped? That is the split second tail. Now, I'm going to turn the volume on up on the handheld so you can see what it does. I got too many frequencies going at one time. Okay, here we go. Okay, you see that right there. Okay, that is how you do this. Very, very simple. And you can do this in the other direction. Now, the Wuxon UV-8D has a little clever little feature that everybody likes. You can program, just like what you saw, you can program WX4 PCS, 147-500 transmitting, WX4 PCS, 446-500 receiving. And that's all on one channel. Look. So look, I have that all on one channel, which is very, very neat. Most radios will not do this, but this particular radio will. All right. Now. I'm going to show y'all this right here. I am a GMRS operator, so you'll see another frequency here. Okay. You see the full 46500. That's the output of this frequency. And 462700, that's a GMRS, which has nothing to do with this video. So, what I'm going to do, I got such a mess in this truck, but I wanted to sh I want to show you something that y'all are did, you, you're going to like to see. 446500. WX4 PCS. All right, I don't know if you can hear me in the video or not. WX4 PCS. Whiskey X-ray 4, Papa Charlie Sierra. WX4 PCS. Okay. You just saw me talking and receiving into the radio, talking on full crossband repeat simultaneously. And I just fully just demonstrated it for you. Okay. So that, that's what this right here is about. Now, if you want to, this is the thing that is confusing a lot of people. How to get the channel in your walkie-talkie to transmit and receive on the same channel for crossband. Most Chinese and um, Chinese, Japanese radios will do this function and do it well. But it does take a programming cable and software. 
and you have to manually put it in that way. Now, the Belfing UV5Rs, I think, if I remember right, I can override the receive frequency when programming to uh, program the transmit frequency on top of the receive frequency. I think I can, if I remember right, that, that uh, logic is correct. So, what I'm going to show you now is how to... Well, how to do a split operation if your HT cannot do the functions of one channel programming. So, what am I going to do? It would be easier if I showed you on the bell thing. All right, let me just show y'all with the bell thing. Because it's the same scenario with dual displays. Just I could... Okay. All right. And this is dual display. All right. You see how on the bottom that I have 446. Unlock. I have 4465. I'm going to go up here and we're going to do 1475000. Now, this is in VF, uh, VH, uh, VFO mode, is what they call it, which is where you can program frequencies in your radio. Menu. Okay. We do not use shift. Okay. Now we're going to change DVD this. SF. Watch what I do. One, nine, two, eight. Confirm. A lot of people don't know you can do this with the bell thing. Confirm. All right. Now, also menu. at the same time, that's menu one. One particular, okay. The DTR is dual standby, which means it will receive both frequencies at the same time. So, that is okay, because it's turned on at the moment. All right, the little triangle you see sitting beside the frequency, that is where your radio will transmit. And I want you to watch this right here. Lightning's getting close. I'm going to have to go in in a minute. WX4PCS. Whiskey X-Ray 4, Papa Charlie Sierra. Okay. Now, let me get my other HT up up here. Whoop, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to y'all. Mm. Keying up 147500, receiving 446500 at the same time. There you go. Full duplex crossband repeat. And that's how it does, y'all. I got to go inside before I get struck by lightning. 